I'm not doing it. I heard you. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Uh-huh. Well, okay. It's a job of a man. Hi. Hi. We're married with opinions. Yes. <laughs> Surprise you ain't saying I'm Jay this time. I'm about to. Okay, then. You. I know I normally end up starting it off. Today, I'm Jay. And today, I'm Micah. <laughs> Getting on now. Uh-huh. Yep. Anyway, Can our I topic for today is do we put too much on our partners, such as titles, expectations, you know, everything in life? Now, when you mean titles, you want to start with titles. That one seems to be... Okay, well, you're not only my husband to me, you're also my best friend, Okay. my confidant, my safe place. Right. Okay. Uh-huh. But I also have high expectations for you that are unrealistic because they're never met. <laughs> well, that's been our show. <laughs> yes, I'm, not gonna, okay, I'm not going to say never met, but you know, it's, it's like I try to, uh, I don't know, I try to give some... Uh, responsibility over to you and then it don't happen. So I'll be like, well, fuck it. Like, well, toilet still ain't clean. I get it. <laughs> you notice most of these have been some, some way I fucked up. <laughs> and I'm not I talking mean, about I mean, I fucked this up too, but you just smart not to say nothing. This is that happy wife. This is the life. honest time. You can you can say it without me beating you up or smothering you in the night. Oh, Bo needs it. You can say it without you beating me up. Alright. So, do we? I mean, yes. I could kind of, I, I, I can say yes. Yeah, so. I mean, though, but those titles were there before we got married. Yeah. Yeah, to a certain extent. So, I would say, like for me, it's kind of hard to say that because I'm, I try to be a person that's like, I am I try to roll with the punches just as well. Mm-hmm. Because I understand there's going to be times it's like, okay, you're not going to feel like doing something. You're not, this is this is not me being scared of being smothered at night or nothing like that. <laughs> I never... <laughs> I wouldn't now. Do you know I did it? Right. <laughs> let's, let's be smarter than that, people. <laughs> so, in all honesty, it's, I don't, I you know, I try not to. You know, I'm like, okay, well, I expect her to be in here cooking every night. But maybe in a way, subconsciously, I do. But I'll, but at the same time, I'm like, hey, if she don't feel like it, look, I'm, I'm, I'm grown. I can. I know how to get food. Only reason I don't cook is he knows how to gather and hunt. Yeah. <laughs> Only reason I don't cook is because she does it better than I do. No, like, you're trying to make sure you get dinner tonight. <laughs> right. I think, um, you know, now from a general standpoint, it really depends on person. Person. Yeah. Yeah. Between between me and you. Um, my expectations, you know, in all honesty, is that um, hopefully that, you know, you actually, like, you know, we get narrowed down what it is you want to do. Mm-hmm. So far as, I'm not saying career. Yeah, I'm, you are. I'm saying so far as what's going to, you know, that Keeping thing. you content? Yeah, happy. Well, you already know what that is, but we're not going to talk about it right now. Yeah. You don't know what it is. Not with that look. Like one of the more interesting things about my wife is that even though she doesn't want to be a public speaker or a leader, I try not to have those expectations, but she falls into that role pretty well. Yeah, I do. Unexpectedly. Right. So her being in some, you know, some capacity where she gets that satisfaction that's an expectation I would have out of her but that's more that's that's more or less a a desire or a hope so I really don't 
I don't know. I just I don't have those expectations. Okay, what about titles? My thing about titles is that yes, you are my best friend. You only saying that? Why? Because she said it. Yes, I have to. <laughs> I'm able to sleep peacefully tonight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it has been a thing. Is like you have to. You have you know you have to make your spouse that yes do you but then also it, that's the other part about being a friend if something is going wrong going wrong you have to be able to let them know mm-hmm. if something is going on I have some people who you know some friends that maybe their spouse isn't and they go out and talk to people outside of the relationship mm-hmm. that that you know as an expectation. If anything, trust right there to keep your business personal is an expectation regardless. Mm-hmm. So having her the title as a best friend, yes. Um, you know, lovers got to be there uh-huh. in a relationship. Cause stay single for that, right? Because it don't matter. It doesn't matter how committed and whether it's married, whether it's just boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, it's you know that that title has to be there. Mm-hmm. But so far as do we put more on some people than ex- expected? I think dealing, I think when you're dealing with a lot of a lot of single people, do. Mm-hmm. I mean, really, um, you're already assigning wife and husband expectations, roles, and titles to people. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. That damn that shit wifey irritates the shit out of me. You're gonna call this woman wifey, but she has no, no ring, no paper, no nothing. But you've pumped that person's head up mm-hmm. just so you can get more out of them. But knowing if the something better comes along, you're gonna drop them. Now, if your intent is to go the distance, hey, make her make her your fiance. But that wifey shit. That's that's one of those pet names. That's just played out. I'm glad people probably stopped using it. <laughs> so, I mean, I never... All my friends are wrong, so I don't know about no pet name <laughs> like yeah. that. Yeah, it's just... It was, it, it was just and irritating. No man better not ever call me his damn wife because I sure wasn't trying to be it. Yeah, that's, that shit's just ridiculous. But I think a lot of expectations we have on partners... Uh, men, you know, you expect a woman to... Expectation, you want a woman to be loyal to you, but you out running in the streets. Mm-hmm. And decide so you'll get pissed if that if that if that woman goes out and gets some somewhere else. Mm-hmm. You've been doing it the whole time, but I understand your security blanket got sullied, it got used as a nut rag. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also the same thing for women. It's usually the, your woman who go out and cheat, and she got a man at home and he goes and cheats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is totally devastated for that very same reason. Mm-hmm. Your security blanket got nutted in. Well, Aunt Will, it nutted on somebody. Whether the person is cheating or not, it's just a matter of... Like, as far as me, as far as expectations, I expect you to do better mm-hmm. than, you know, than I expect out of you. Right. Because you are a penis person, so... You know, you already have your flaws. <laughs> but... You know, like career wise, I expect I want the best out of you. Mm-hmm. So I guess, you know, that part. And I expect you to bring home the bacon, even though you don't eat swine. <laughs> <laughs> I think what, I think the reason I, I don't really say much about my wife, my expectations out of her, is because she already does the things. And it's not like I come home and the house is doesn't feel like a home. We're not arguing. We're not. It's not that I. It's like I want to be here, and if I leave to go do something, I want to come back. That's the kind of expectation that I know a lot of men want to have in their home out of their woman. My hair is big as shit, <laughs> and we're leaning back. Yeah. In another video, we're leaning Damn forward. It. Okay. So. Prenatal vitamins, that's how you get this. So pregnant or not. <laughs> so, you know, I think one of your expectations out of me is not for me to be hard on myself. That. Yeah. And believe it or not, in certain situations I expect the same out of you. 
That's the thing. I'm not hard mm-hmm. on myself. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But with one of those expectations, I am learning to put myself before mm-hmm. other things. So I'm learning. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was another expectation. I think I, I, when we met, this amazing woman did everything for everybody else. And it's ironic that I need to have the same expectation for myself. I mm-hmm. wanted, it wasn't me being selfish. It's like she said, she needed to put herself first. Because mm-hmm. one of the things that you know, even I learned, you can't take care of everybody else when you ain't taking care of yourself. Mm-hmm. So I am, you know, like I said, I was guilty of that for a while as well. Still kind of guilty of it in some ways. And just because your significant other wants you to be like, fuck everybody else and not help them or whatnot, that's because some people are very capable and they can do it on their own. It just, you need to take care of you. Mm hmm. So that's that's an expectation everybody should have anyway. Yeah. But do we have more for other people? We always do. Mm-hmm. So. So um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a short topic. Uh, is it to... though? Okay. Yeah. So as far as titles, as far as titles. is it too much for me to uh, for for me to always come to you as the person I can be an open book with? Because because for one, how our relationship started. We were friends first. There wasn't no sugar coating. So it's not like, ooh, I need to make sure he likes me. You know, at that point, it was like, eh. <laughs> you know? So it's like, now that you are my husband, and it's like, prior to that, you were always the person I would confide in. With how we got together, no, it's not. Because, like I said, we didn't meet as two strangers wanting to see what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. We did develop a, that rapport first. We can't but say that. I've also asked you, is it too much? Mm-mm. Nothing you've come to me with has been... It's not too much. Now, have I been in a relationship where that has happened? Yeah, I have. Where well, was you got to bring up other bitches? Here we go. But I'm saying because our situation is different, no, it's not. What? I'm listening. Okay, that was it. So, but uh, yeah, I think our I think our dynamic makes it where it's not. Mm-hmm. Not um, not too much. And we are far from perfect. Yes. Very far from. It. Heck, by the time it's recorded, we still hadn't been married a year. Yeah, no. But yeah. we're far from perfect. Yeah. You can still get choked out at any moment, guys. And the question is, will I like it? So. <laughs> So the thing is, is just like one of our previous, one of our previous videos. I forgot which one it is. You still have to make sure you know the person that you're with. Mm-hmm. And if you're putting expectations on someone who is constantly like, you know, they're constantly showing you they're disappointing you. I'm saying they're not even trying. Mm-hmm. They're not, and you want more out of them than what they're willing to give. You know, it's one thing to try and fail, but then that they're willing to give. Then yeah, mm-hmm. you do put too much on them. When because and I'm gonna say this, because your pussy and dick is talking, versus you using your eyes and your brain, mm-hmm. you can't put too much on a person. You are putting too many expectations on a person. And just because your pussy or dick is talking and that person is trying to push you, and you don't turn around and and you have a problem and you push back, hopefully that other person realizes that. So yeah, we can do that. We we can put that on there, but it's because I mean, we yeah. have wrong reasons. It depends. It, it it also depends on the dynamics of mm-hmm. the relationship, right? Whereas you were kind of trained, I kind of trained you on this train wreck. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to know when to pull the lever. You, you were getting trained for a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, all the all the stuff I went through beforehand. Yep, it does train you for that that right one so 
Was there anything else you wanted to add to this one? I always ask you that. I know. I'm. I'm wondering though. Like, did we cover everything? I don't know. It could be a short one. It always. It happens every now and then. I mean, I get that part. Maybe I'm somebody trying to make it longer. I'm just yeah. trying to make sure we don't have to talk about this no more. <laughs> well, that we leaves, probably will. We, we probably, but and it gives an opportunity. Just, it gives an opportunity for someone to leave something in the comments below, mm -hmm. and we we'll revisit it like we did the others. Mm -hmm. And since how I hadn't been putting the email in the in the description, which I'll probably go back and do it now, if you want to leave us some kind of story or something we want us want us to touch on, or or something you want to say that you don't want to leave in the comments, you can email us at married. W-O-P. Why are you pointing down there? It'll be in the description. But it'll also be on the screen. No, it won't. Yeah, it will. Ain't no point. Yes, it Unless is. it's a link. Yeah, Because I ain't clicking. I ain't, you don't I click. ain't sending no email unless I can click the shit. But either way, <laughs> married, W-O-P, at gmail.com. So. There too. Both, both places. Here <sighs> and here. Oh, thank you for spending time with us. I'm Micah. I'm Jay. And have a great day.